today's world of high-speed connection, text messaging, and social networking, we often find ourselves searching for information. There are millions of blogs on the internet, news, sports, politics, and tech, but I bring it all together for you and present it in a relentlessly unconventional fashion. My name is Zinni Abraham, and this is The Blog Report. It's time now for news. Hey everybody, I've got to talk about this movie, The Innocence of Muslims, that was allegedly made by this anti-Muslim guy named Sam Basile, that's not his real name. Now, news organizations like CNN are reporting that the Associated Press is reporting that the FBI has told them that the filmmaker is a man by the name of uh, Nakola Basili Nakola. Folks, he is not the maker of that movie, okay? In fact, if you read any of the accounts, he says, I didn't make the movie. He is not the director. But here's the other thing. Here's why the news reports have been so just god-awful bad. Sorry, Wolf Blitzer. Sorry, CNN. But I got to get on you. Sorry, Aaron over at Aaron Burnett over at Out Front, your show. I got to get, get on you. And Anderson, I guess you're going to step right into this too, talking about Anderson Cooper. Look, you didn't ask the basic question. Hey, if I do a search for a person who's a filmmaker, wouldn't I find, hmm, a website with their work? Duh. There's nothing on this guy other than past allegations of bank fraud and bankruptcies he's filed. Nothing about what kind of movies he's made. No one as a filmmaker, a reputable filmmaker. Now, you can say, Oh, that film, the quality was poor, but it's obvious that money was put into it, actors and actresses were hired and alleged, apparently paid, and the money came from somewhere. But here's what's even scarier and what the media, the mainstream media, isn't asking. Why is it that the Steve Klein, who is a Southern California person who is an advocate for this film and an anti-Muslim, is speaking about this? Why are all the people that are involved to this point, all in Southern California, and all have some ties to conservative organizations. Think about that. Let's spin a possibility, shall we? Maybe someone got together and early on and said, hey, you know what, we're gonna have this movie made, and we're gonna distribute it, we're gonna make it anti-Muslim, we're gonna distribute it around the world and, and piss off the Mideast so that'll screw up President Obama and give him something else to deal with. And we'll set it up so that maybe Mitt Romney's operatives know about it, but guess, and, and he can make some comment about how Obama's handling this uprising that's sure to occur that we basically struck the match and sparked the flames to start with this movie that we made. Think about it. I forgot to mention, they put it out there for Mitt, but he botched it. <laughs> because why else would, Steve Klein's located in Southern California, the gentleman Nakula Basile Nakula is also located in Southern California and the actors and actresses are located in Southern California. Something in there have these ties to conservative groups. Something is going on here and it's a shame that CNN didn't mention this and the other news organizations haven't mentioned this thus far. Absolutely terrible. There, I have a hunch who the filmmaker might be but I have no proof other than circumstantial evidence to back up what, who I think it may be. And I don't want to put him out there like that because it would not be right for him. I don't, I don't, I just saying. All right, there.